Cold exposure is one of those very powerful hermetic experiences. When the body receives a cold shock or a heat shock, the mitochondria go into overdrive. And when the mitochondria go into overdrive, they produce more energy. And they produce, they actually replicate. Um, they get stronger and you want the energy components so you stick your head right under that cold shower and the, the cold water hits your head first. Those mitochondria are going to come to life in your brain. Literally new ideas, new thoughts, new neural connections, new ability to navigate the world. Your brain is going to get healthier and stronger from exposure to cold. It's that simple. You can't just jump right into a 10 minute, 30 degree ice bath. We have to take it very slowly so that it gives your body time to adapt to the new environment. I can tell you how it worked for me. For the beginning, I took a normal shower with warm water, hot water, and then at the very end of the shower, I'd crank it all the way to cold. In the beginning, I could do about 30 seconds. And then I get it up to a minute. And over about a month, I could get it up to three minutes. And then I was like three or four minutes, I can wait a minute, I can just take the whole shower in four minutes and do it with cold water. So if I look at my energy levels and I look at a 30 or 60 or 90 minute exercise and I look at a five minute cold shower, I could say that five minute cold shower is probably worth a good half hour to an hour of exercise. That's just how I feel when I get out.